Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to create a particle explosion on Collision and it will be After Effects without using any third-party plugins. As you see here in this example, uh, we have this nice animation and let's zoom down a little bit and you see here how the explosion looks like and in the second example we have a different sharing happening and on third one it is totally different so let's get started create your composition let's call that expo and give uh, and uh, create a comp size the size you want and two second duration and hit ok create a solid layer let's call that laser maybe what's going to hit the particle and make the width 5 pixel and red and hit OK. So we have something like that. Let's bring tile action save and hit A for anchor point and let's make the anchor point on the bottom of the layer to be on the same on the center. And now hit R for rotation minus 45 to rotate the layer we want the head to come from this side and hit P for position and on 5 make the uh, keyframe there and the first keyframe add 0 for X and Y we have something like this and on the second keyframe let's add a scale keyframe so now we want is a few frames we want the X or the Y scale to be at zero so we have something like this and now we need to easy ease that I'm going to have something like that it's boring and let's change the influence also for the position maybe more a little bit so we have something like this and create another solid let's call that expo circle make comp size and let's make it white and hit ok and make a mask let's make a circle on the center shifts control to make it perfect on the center of the comp and then what we want we need when the position is on the center let's trim the expo circle layer and let's animate the mask path so we want that to start from the center to this size or maybe a few frames keyframe there and let's make this control T Control shift to make it smaller. That's what we're going to have something like this. Easy is this. Maybe some influence. And let's trim the path and duplicate our mask. In the second mask, let's uh, offset those keyframes and subtract from the first one so we're going to have something like this okay that's look good create another solid let's call that shatter effects comp size and hit ok and then let's add a CC particle world. So now we need hit there. We want to animate the birth rate. Let's make that four keyframe, one keyframe, and make that at zero. And on physics, let's make the gravity at zero and the velocity maybe seven and 
inherent velocity to give some variation and resistance to maybe 20 and on particle let's change the particle type to cubes so we are having some cubes there and now on particle we're going to change the diff size to zero and let's start uh, both size where it is change the rotation speeds and initial rotations and let's change the color of bird to white and maybe it's a red leave that there or maybe it's orange and hit OK and transform mode to add so we have something like this and so let's uh, hit S for scale and change that so and trim the path uh, trim sorry the the layer of the share effects so we have something like this and then put the size variation to 100 and uh, max opacity to 100 as well to have some variation there So we have something like this and when the second hit there we're going to duplicate this expo circle duplicate control D and so let's offset the expo circle the second one to give it a nice animation and variation than the first one so we have this uh, you get the idea and now you can change the shatter particle type to tetrahedron and you can now have different shatter in there and for the third example to show you quickly here we use almost all the, the techniques there except instead of using CC particle world what we do is choose CC cradle and what is this doing actually this is how the animation looks like so I just duplicate the circle animation there and add to the CC cradle what CC cradle is doing to show you quickly when you add it, it just uh, actually do nothing. But when you change horizontal scale and vertical scale, it just divide your layer to a grid, and that's it. Nothing happened. But when you animate the mask, you get kind of explosion effects happening there. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.